Just before the final mastering of the Dreamer album, I decided there was one more song that needed to be recorded. That song was entitled Come Away. It was written specifically to enable listeners to visualize Belize without having seen it before. Producer Ken Doyle Simpson and I created a cultural composition that would complement the lyrics. This song has led to an epic journey, unimaginably filled with excitement and adventure as we traveled across Belize in pursuit of capturing the essence of Belize and ultimately making the Come Away video. Witness the beauty, the excitement, the behind the scenes and join us on the Come Away journey. On April 13, 2012, Melanie Gillett, in collaboration with Starbase Films, headed down the Western Highway through the Hummingbird Highway where we got the first shot. This location has always called me the rocks, the stream, the tranquility, and crystal clear ice cold water. Director of the Come Away Music Video and TV show, Ben Hudson, brought interesting concepts to the shoot and has an eye for the most creative shots. With top industry gears and partner in crime cinematographer Mary, Ben captured the beauty of Belize in its most natural state. Brandon Katus, top Belizean cyclist and male model in the Come Away Music Video, has a list of accomplishments, putting Belize on the map as far as Mexico, Panama, Puerto Rico and India. We then headed full speed ahead to Placencia, where we visited Treasure Box, a custom handmade jewelry store, and thereafter enjoyed a nice relaxing evening at the inn at Roberts Grove. We ate the finest cuisine at their Saturday night buffet, enjoyed a lovely performance by Akin Palacio and the drummers, and were treated with celebrity status. We also had the luxury of staying in their most exquisite villas, an experience we will never forget. All right. Although the wind was blowing like a mini hurricane, Ben still managed to get one of the best performance shots at the end at Roberts Grove, and I got the opportunity to wear the first Joris Hendrick designer outfit by a secret tree with models Doyen Gardner and Glorita Perriot.
been at the resort for 10 years, for the past 10 years now. And I've seen some changes. It's a, it's a nice spot. It's quiet, it's laid back. And this is one of the best beaches that we have around here in Belize. Oh, it's yeah. absolutely amazing. It's like having your own place. <laughs> it's so, as much as you can look at it in a postcard, it does it no justice at all. It's just the most amazing water, the most amazing rum drinks. <laughs> I've been coming here now for, this is my second time. Stayed with these great people here uh, two years ago. On the eve of a hurricane, we were the only uh, people arriving. They were making everybody get evacuated. And uh, John, Mar, and Michael took us in, took care of us, became their family, spent three days avoiding a hurricane. Unbelievable. Just, just fantastic country, fantastic people. Second time down here, I'm just meeting more wonderful people. This, this, this country's gonna explode with tourism. I hate to say that, but you guys got it going on. I love to see the repeated guests come back. It's like a part of the family. The people are so wonderful. You want to take them all home with you. I have a list, really, that I want to take home with me. Um, it's just, everybody's kind and wonderful and generous, and it's just beautiful. They remember they remember me from since, in like, 2000. When I start to work here, they still remember me, and they come and talk to me like, they love it then. That's why I over guess it. It's just beautiful every day. It's just gorgeous. There's, and the water is so blue. It looks like a postcard and the coconut trees and the service is amazing. <laughs> and everybody's happy and just having a good time. And I, It's fabulous. Belize is amazing. Uh, you have fun. The people are incredible. Everybody's so friendly. It's such a good time. We you get up in the morning, go out to the beach, just stare at the wall, ocean, surf, the caves. I mean, uh, what more is it? Laying yeah. in the hammocks. Yeah. <laughs> Hammock time is good. That's all we got. I don't want to leave. <laughs> See you by. Day four started out with horseback riding at Macab Echo Park. It was cloudy and wet. We were beginning to wonder if we'd ever get the shot, but the horses came out just in the nick of time, and as soon as we got the shot, the rain came pouring down. I basically do tour guiding and care for the horses. I'm um, here at Bakab on our horseback tour. You get to enjoy the lush rainforest. Um, as we go through the rainforest, you get to see a variety of wildlife if we are fortunate. And uh, some of the wildlife that is native to this era is the white-tailed deer, the tapir, a few different species of wildcats, beautiful birds, and um, it's open. You also get a lovely view of the Belize River. It's very beautiful. You get to enjoy some of scene, the lovely scene of some of the different palms here as well. 
the royal palm, the kuhun palm, the um, pokonoboy palm, and a few more. You get to learn a bit about some of the local herbs and their medicinal use as we go through the rainforest. And it's so much fun. It's for the entire family. So we invite you to come out at Bacab and have fun with us. with Brandon Cutters and guess what he's the male model for the come away video um, I've known Brandon for a while now him he rides with my brother uh, Leon Gillett on the series team um, Brandon actually placed second in the cross-country cycling competition 2012 which which was a very exciting a very big deal for Belizeans bringing it back home to Belize and so I thought it would be great to have Brandon in, in the video and Brandon couldn't have been a better candidate for the job. So Brandon, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I've been cycling for the past four years now and it's been a very good experience for me. I've traveled all over the world with the national team. I've been to India, Puerto Rico, Panama, cycling with Belize, Belize's national team. Okay, and um, how did you feel about being on this project? Well, this is the first video I'm doing. I was a bit nervous at first to accept the role, but doing the video now and doing a couple shoots has been fun, a good experience for me. Okay. Um, is this something you think you'll be doing in the future again? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll have to think about it some more. <laughs> Maybe with you again, yeah. <laughs> so, I think with this experience, I took Brandon completely out of his comfort zone as this is not something he would normally do. Um, what do you do on a regular basis? And uh, tell me a little bit more about series. Well, on a regular basis, I usually cycle and we travel all over Mexico and we do cycling races. I, you know your brother rides with us and we do a lot of cycling in Mexico. I came fourth in the last race in Cousin Mel and the team is a, not a really a big team. We have about six guys with us and they really helped me in the cross country so that I could be successful. So what was your favorite part? Uh, what was your favorite shoot in the video? Um, I had to say my favorite shoot was the ATVs. I really like the <laughs> ATVs in, at the um, cavetubing.com. That was my favorite shoot. And Robert's Grove was nice being on the beach and staying at Robert's Grove. So what do you do on a regular basis? Well, on a regular basis, I work with my dad. He has a trucking company and I drive the trucks and the loaders, load the big trucks with the concrete material that we sell to people in Belize. Well, as you all know, this has been a very rigorous shoot and um, so I'd like to give a big shout out to Katoosh Trucking for allowing Brandon to, the time to be able to be on these many shoots on, in these many different locations with these long hours. Have to have to give Katoosh Trucking a very big shout out. After the break, we'll be right back with more. Welcome back everybody, I'm Melanie Gillette and you're watching the Come Away TV show. This show is about the making of my new video for the song Come Away. Come Away is actually an invitation to everybody to come away to Belize and enjoy all the beautiful exotic locations we have here. The entire journey offered the perfect locations and settings for behind-the-scenes photographer and videographer Michael Vasquez. 
Mike had worked with me on several projects before and was also a part of the Come Away team. I'm here today with Michael Vasquez, who is actually the behind the scenes photographer for this wonderful campaign. So his work is featured throughout this interview. So Michael, tell me about how you feel about this, this campaign. Well, I'd say the most interesting part of this experience is getting to go the different places that we went because we went to different locations to shoot the different scenes for the different videos. and. Um, I found it very interesting because I've never really went to those places before. I've heard about them but never really gone there so I enjoyed it and the scenery is beautiful. Okay, so exactly what are you doing behind the scenes? What do you do? Well, behind the scenes I, I, I take the photos of what's actually happening, you know, off shot things like that and I have an assistant who's documenting oh, what, what our reactions to whatever it is, you know, because um, in the video itself, you, we just show what we want, right? So Michael, you've been with us from day one of this shoot. I mean, we've been cramming so much into five days of production. And what what is your take on, on the whole thing? Well, what a lot of people don't really realize is that there is a lot of time constraints. And we, we're moving from one place to another and we have to make it really fast so that we can get the proper lighting and everything. It's very tedious. So about 5% of the video that is shot is what is going to be used for the video itself. So what this show will be about is to show you all that that isn't shown in the actual video itself. You have your own production company, right? Yes, it's called All Over Productions. It's fairly new. It's a home-based business that I'm starting up right here only for about two years. So learning here and having this experience is helping me a lot with growth with my company as well. Um, I've had experience working with you and I think that you're very professional so where could someone find you if they want to be in contact with you? Well the easiest way to find me is on my website or on Facebook you can go to allawayproductions.com or you can just check me out on my Facebook page all the information is on my website so you can check me out there. Ladies and gentlemen Michael Vasquez will be right back after a quick break. Brought to you by The afternoon was a whole other extreme. We took the San Pedro Belize Express Water Taxi to Key Cocker, where we finally got the beach. I mean, you can imagine how excited we were when the sun peeped out just to give enough time for the perfect natural light. This is where we got the second performance shot, the beach shot. It up to like 140 passengers that's the biggest boat that we have which is a 55 foot um, boat that you can see behind me that's one of our biggest boats. We have eight runs basically whereby our first runs departing Belize is at 745 and we have 9 o'clock we have 11 o'clock um, 12 o'clock 115 3 o'clock 415 and 530. We have Belize City as a destination Key Cocker San Pedro and we also run Chetomal as well. We have a connection whereby we leave Key Cocker from 7 in the morning and then we arrive in San Pedro like 7.30 and from there we leave 8 o'clock. It takes an hour and a half to reach Chetomal and that's um, we dock at the Moya Fiscal and we depart from there at 3.30. Um, the price for that is like 60 bucks, that's one way. For the locals we have special deals as well with the groups, whatever. We have deals for that run. It's a daily run. The students now, when they travel to us, we give them a special deal since they are back and forth and they use the um, accommodation every day. And for the students, with, from Key Cocker to Belize City, we charge roughly like 15 bucks round trip for the students. And from San Pedro, we charge 30 bucks. If you want to contact us, our website is www.belizewatertaxi.com.
come away to Mama Newt's and have a great time. back down through the Hummingbird Highway to Mama Newt's and Mayflower Buckawina National Park. This was so exciting. Male model and top Belizean cyclist Brandon Catus, myself and cinematographer Mary got the opportunity to zip line through the forest. What an experience. We have a restaurant and bar. Well, overnight we work together with the Bocawina Adventures, and so they offer night zip lining, and they also can, you could do camping up in the mountains. There's a f about three different waterfalls that you can go on hikes from, and then there's uh, plenty of day trips from here. Hopkins is just 10 miles, so pe you can go snorkeling and fishing, and uh, also check out some Garifuna culture. We're located in the Stan Creek District. We're four miles off of the Southern Highway. If you're coming in from the International Airport, you could fly down to the Dangriga Airstrip, and we're just a half an hour from Dangriga. Uh, for our two-bedroom cabana, our rate is our nightly rate's 105 US per night, and our rooms are 65 US per night. And we're located amidst the Mayflower Bocawina National Park, which has over 7,000 acres of land. The longest run is a uh, half mile long. Some of them are really fast. They're very easy, very easy and very safe. We have a package, package deal. If you do a zipline and Bocawina waterfall repel, it's uh, 110 US per person with lunch. We have a overnight ziplining too, a nighttime zipline. So you can zipline at night. Yeah. Day three of the Come Away music video shoot started with a bang. We were picked up at 5.30 a.m. by the vibrant tour guide Evan Williams of CaveTubing.com. The excitement was turned up a notch once we got on the ATVs. It was an adrenaline rush mixed with fare and a little bit of mud all in one. Next up, cave tubing and jumping off rocks. What more can a girl ask for? years and cave tubing.com is a locally owned company uh, we specialize in cave tubing and ATVs uh, we are riding today with Melanie Gillette and crew doing a video shoot in Belize we also offer for Belizeans we are very big on supporting our Belizean people and artists here in Belize so whatever it takes for us here at cave tubing.com we will do to support locals to get ahead you know because we are a local owned company and we started very small and now we've grown up into a very huge company well 90 percent of our jobs is from the cruise ships uh, but we do have people that stay overnight that we do get business from from a lot of the major hotels and we also do a lot of tours for locals Belize. we believe that our Belizeans should have an opportunity to enjoy what belize has to offer not only for it you know, visitors. We don't really have a set age limit because uh, we, the youngest we've taken was a year and a half to do cave tubing and the oldest was 91 years old. Wow. So we don't really have a set age limit although as long as you're in good physical condition and you are adventurous, you can book with us and we'll take you. When it comes to the prices, it varies because we have a set price 
for cave tubing and for ATV but if you book both of them as a combo we give you a special price on it. We also have the leasing rates. So what's the um best part about the 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 ATV and the cave tubing you would say? What do people enjoy the most about it? Well one of the things people enjoy the most is to be honest is the personality of the tour guides we have. ATV is about getting dirty and getting muddy. Yes. Sometimes you come, it's filled with mud and water, and people love that because in the US they're not used to that. Mm -hmm. Even people in Belize, when they go there, they're like, oh, I didn't know it was so good. <laughs> Cave tubing, on the other hand, is a very, it has to do a lot with Mayan culture, and you guys know Mayan is a big part of our heritage in mm -hmm. Belize, so it brings you to a place that years ago was populated by these people, first inhabitants of Belize. So, you know, it's a very, for different people, it has different meanings. Some people, it's just about fun, doing something that they cannot do anywhere else in the world. And for others, it's more, they have more connection to it because of their heritage and what they believe in and stuff like that, you know. So it's very, it's up in the air when it comes to different people. Well, all I have to say is that the worst part about it was that it was too short. <laughs> I needed more time. The Come Away Journey. We're back. Thank you so much for staying tuned and watching my story, my come away journey. Uh, right now, we're getting ready to shoot my out on do the out on her shoot. We have five minutes. We're trying to catch the sun, uh, but I still have to get in another crew member, Harold Diaz, who is another crew member, Michael's assistant, and I'm gonna introduce you guys to him and let you know a little bit more about him. Harold, how has this experience been for you? Well, it's been great, man. I mean, it's been an honor here being with you, being with everybody else. This has been a very great experience. I feel very honored to be a part of this crew, right? And simply because you're actually like the embodiment of what is Belize. I mean, you're kind, you're beautiful. Aww. You're Thank you. You know, you're talented. You know, you're what Belize has to offer to the whole world, right? And I feel great. I feel honored to be here with you and be a part of this. Another thing that I really liked is the whole filming behind the scenes. The, the funny parts now and the little arguments or the things happening behind the scenes. You know, it's fun being a part of all of this, you know, and working with Michael, working with you, working with renowned photographers and videographers like Mr. Ben and Ms. Mar. It's great, you know, it's a whole new experience for me. It's, I mean, something that you won't forget right now. I mean, it stays there and it's, I mean, it's, it's an experience that's here to stay, right? Finally, the shot all of us had been anticipating the entire journey. We made our way to the historical Mayan ruin Alton Ha for the final shoot. And it really was worth it. It was in this shot that I wore the second outfit by Joris Hendry, a piece he had originally designed for the Prince William fashion show, the blue tarpaulin dress. It worked as if it were created for me. On the way back, we stopped in at the legendary Clarissa Falls and fought against the raging currents to get the most perfect shot. We managed to get on top of the waterfall and swam into shore from there.
I met Joris last year, I believe it was last yes. year, at, um, it was the Artists in Development. It was, yes, that, but actually we had a more of a conversation at the Belize Design Week 2011. That's yes. where we actually met properly. Yes, and I saw one of his canvas pieces and it was amazing. I fell in love immediately and told him that we have to work, to, we, we agreed that we have to work together at some point. And um, Joris got back to me and we've been in contact ever since last year talking about working together. We were actually supposed to work on the last shoot we did, but it didn't happen. Yes, I was actually really excited to work with you because I love your song. Come Away is, is one of my favorite songs in the album, so of course I was going to be on board <laughs> with you. So I sent Joris a... Uh, um, basically the outline of the project and, and the, the, the wardrobe that we had discussed and everything and, and Joris came up with three different pieces for the yes. for this come away video. You wanna talk about it a little bit? Well there's the lace piece which is a little bit more dramatic and there's also the one that had videotape which is the VHS magnetic tape which was for like the bikini mm -hmm. so that would work really well with that so that's mm -hmm. how I ended up doing that and then putting in the mix the blue tarpaulin dress which has the safety pins at the top yeah it's actually like a corset piece and you guys are gonna see it we've done that with the um, Mayan ruin uh, it's absolutely gorgeous and you would never believe that it was made from recycled I can't believe, that. I'm amazed at the work that Joris does and to talk more about the VHS tape, that's what you call it. Yes. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. My Eco Love Collection, that's what it's called. It's all about recycling. So VHS is one of the materials we're not going to use anymore because we're all going into the new century with DVDs and all computerized. So we don't use VHS anymore. So I had like tons of videos which I started using to, to make that actually. Made perfect sense because <laughs> when Joyce brought it out, I was like, I have to use that one. It was beautiful. Thank you. It just fit perfectly for the video. So I'm at the Orange Gallery tonight with Julian Sherrard who has graciously allowed us to shoot in his gallery and uh, feature some of his lovely artwork. Uh, so tell me a little bit about your place. Uh, we're located at mile 60 on the Western Highway near San Ignacio and uh, we do a, a bunch of different types of artwork from woodworking to jewelry, paintings. Um, a lot of the products that we make, especially out of wood, are from the old reduce, reuse, recycle sort of theory where we pull stumps and roots out of the jungle and make them into artwork. This segment was brought to you by Bowen and Bowen, Bellican. For updates, new music, photos and many more, visit melaniegillet.com. My name is Ben Hudson, the director of the music video and the TV show. I'd just like to congratulate Melanie on her new music video and just to say how proud I am of her. Um, I just love it. We all love it. The team loves it. We think it will do well for her. We think it will do really well for the promotion of Belize. Now, as you've seen through the show, we're going to be in Belize conducting a talent search. If you're interested, email us at info at starbasefilms.com and uh, reach out to us. Up next, Melanie Gillett's Come Away music video. Enjoy. Sweet. 
behind-the-scenes footage and photos, visit comeawaybelize.com.